guys, welcome back to my video blog, Velia Live. Today I'm excited to share with you some really cool information. As many of you know, I like to learn new things about different cultures and about different people. And so today I'm excited to share with you the information I learned about the tradition El Dia de los Muertos, which is the Day of the Dead. El Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead, is commonly celebrated on November 1st and November 2nd. It coincides very much with Halloween Therefore, now when you go to the stores like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, you'll find items from this celebration in those same aisles. This tradition is originally from the southern part of Mexico, and so a lot of people here in the United States celebrate it as well. And it's become something that's universal that everybody's starting to celebrate this very unique celebration. But I want to clarify one thing. It's not about worshiping the dead. It's about celebrating your loved ones who have passed and remembering them through items they used to enjoy while they were here on earth. I had the opportunity to go visit my friend Vita, Eva, and um, she's been having an altar in honor of her family. And it all started back in 2009 when her father passed away. So it has a very special meaning for her. She shared her story with us and I hope you find it to be very interesting. Well, I started my altar back in 2008 when my daddy passed away. So I started with a small one with him. Um, since 2008 or 2008, I do it every year, and every year it expands and it gets big, bigger and bigger. It depends on the year, but I change it up every single time that I do it. The scenery is going to be different. I do ask um, the people who have passed. I do ask their loved ones if it's okay if I put them up, because I like to know what favorite things that they would would have liked in life. Um, so a lot of people give me a lot of things just for my altar because they know I like I like it and I do it um, and they just come randomly bring me stuff. I, I got so many um, that I've done. Now as of last year I started to now keep my frames because I like to decorate my own frames. I used to recycle but as of this year or last year actually um, I just keep them now so it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. Now this is a child that was um, murdered um, last year I believe uh, Lorenzo, and actually yesterday was his birthday. Um, that is my sister-in-law, Monica Navarro's um, little nephew. I put toys with him because he's a child. The grandparents right here, my friend Kiki's grandparents, she told me uh, her grandma liked to cook. Her grandpa liked to gamble and like vanilla wafers. So I kind of spread that out in front of them. So I kind of get the ideas from the family members of what they like. I don't know what Bob likes. I haven't reached out to Robin yet. Um, but I'll go get his little things. And I like to do that. People say, no, let me go buy it. Um, I like to do it. Um, they're called ofrendas. It's offering, you're offering them what they liked in when they were alive. So on November 1st through the 2nd, which I do it on the 1st, I'll cook, I'll make mole, and I'll have my Mexican bread and pan de muerto. I'll have hot chocolate and I'll have people over and um, they can come over and have some. I, I love doing it every year, but it's not like on the actual day. There's food. I have music. Um, it's just remembering your loved ones. You don't want, ever want to forget them. And um, Mexico, typically what they do is they'll go to the actual graveyard and they'll celebrate all night. They'll go decorate. That's why I have on the floor, and I was kind of skeptical about having it on the floor, my cross. Um, but. That's how they do it in Mexico, and I. this is the first year I've done it, and I like it, but what they do is they'll go to their, love site, their loved one's um, grave, graveyard site, and they'll, you know, set up everything. They'll cook for them. Also, they'll take food, fruits. Um, you're supposed to, um, it's like the common stuff that they do, especially in Michoacan. So that's where I get the idea from. One day, I am going to go to Hanitio on November 1st, God willing, because they go all out. The main colors you want to have is the marigold. It's, you want the brights, because apparently when they do come to visit you, you want them to be able to go back. And that's what the mirror's for. See, a lot of people don't um, add um, things that you're supposed to. You know, I'm just learning. I learn every year. I just learned last year to put my mirror, because if, you know, you want them to go back. And there's, you're supposed to have water. My water is in there with the flowers. Um, Copal is an incense, and you just burn it that night and it just cleanses your um, 
the area. And then you have regular incense, which I bought sandalwood. Last year, um, Paul bought me a whole bunch of stuff for his daddy. And I said, well, Paul, I had his daddy as the main focal point, and he bought me his, um, he was a veteran, so he bought me his flag. I mean, very nice things in his glasses and just a lot of his own personal items and bought me vanilla wafers. And I ate them all, and Jim Donuts, too. <laughs> I had to go buy them again. But, or not again, but I went and bought some more because I didn't want him to know I ate them. Um, nobody in my family, um, my sister Il started one this year, and, and it's, I like it. It's simple and nice, and, um, but she's like me the first year. You know, so a lot of people think it's um, worshiping, and it's not. It's, um, it's offerings, it's remembering your loved ones. I enjoy doing it, and I'll do it every year, and I'll continue to do it. Um, I just love doing it. And you know, people, when they come and see it, they're just so grateful. You should see the uh, inbox one, little Juanita sent me after I, I told her, hey, I added your sister, what did she like? And she was, oh my God, you know, just thank you for remembering her. And it's just, to me, it's a beautiful thing. I love it. Mm -hmm. But I start in September, and my son's so patient because I'm just all over the kitchen with my stuff and we move things and, but I love it. And it will be finalized on Tuesday when I have all my food out. Uh, in southern Mexico, not so much like in northern. I don't know about yeah, I, what I what I read. Yeah, in southern Mexico, yes, it's like um, very popular. And right now, there's there's like a lot of shows and a lot of uh, things going on with it in Michoacan down in that area. But I've always known of the sugar schools. That's why when you see mine, they'll be decorated. Um, I do it myself, and I don't make it so like Halloweenish because it's not. It's supposed to be. Um, life after death and celebrating yes i love my huanga every year okay i love tupac every year i said i'm gonna put tupac but i chose huanga to, over tupac and you know i thought that was the best concert ever that i went to and so um i did his um i liked that i did his flamboyant because that's how he was. He liked white. Um, I, the first year I started my altar was 2008. It was after my dad had passed away. So I started with him as my focal point. And then I kind of branched out. Um, I'll add more people. But he's my main focal point. Every year I have a main focal point. Um, this year I don't have a main focal point. Um, I think I like the way I left it this year. Um, I have a, a lot more people involved. And my stuff accumulates. And this is not even half the stuff I have.